All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to Shore Manor. For today's video, I thought I would show you guys kind of a haul for all of the food that we get. Um, let me know in the comments below if you host your own Halloween party or maybe if this is your first time to host one. Hopefully you can get some ideas from us. Right now I have everything stored in my big giant jack-o'-lantern to keep it separate from everything else in my pantry. But I'm gonna pull it out and show you guys what we have as a meal on Halloween night. We have some family that comes over. It's not a huge party, but there's about 10 to 15 of us and we all have dinner and then we take our kids trick or treating. All right, so it may not look like a lot right now, but that is because we kind of do a potluck sort of thing where we provide most of the food, but we also have people bring other things too. But I was just afraid that I would not have a lot of time to film that on Halloween. So I wanted to go ahead and film this for you guys. So you can see what we do and hopefully leave us a comment below. Let us know what your traditions are for your family. Sorry for all the shakiness of the camera. I've had to make a makeshift tripod because my son broke ours playing with it like a lightsaber. So I'm um, sorry for the extra scratchy noises but where I'm trying to move my phone across the uh, makeshift tripod I have. Okay, so here in the Shore household, we have lots of traditions. I have kept some that I had as a kid growing up and some of Matt's and then some that I just wanted to do for myself or not myself for, for the kids. So the first thing we have is Little Smokies. I make these for every holiday or major party we have. They are my favorite things to make. They're so easy to make and they taste really good. So I use just some regular honey barbecue sauce and plain grape jelly. And then I put them in the crock pot. I believe it's on low for four hours. There's tons of recipes online for them. I used to make them like wrapped in bacon and sprinkle brown sugar on them, cook them in the oven, and it just got to be a lot with kids. So now this is what I do. Um, Matt and I both have a family tradition of cooking chili on Halloween. So you'll see all of the ingredients for our chili there. The third can there that's over towards the left is actually our can that goes in our taco soup and I just grabbed the wrong one out of the pantry. So please ignore that. It will be three cans of mixed chili beans. Um, but for those who don't like chili, I do the Little Smokies. Like me, I am not a fan of chili and I think I forgot to say, but definitely if you wanna make these, don't go by my words check out a recipe online. Uh, I use Google or sometimes Pinterest. Pinterest has a ton of them there, but I'm not a ch fan of chili. I never have been, so I make little smokies basically for me, although everyone else enjoys them too. And usually my mom brings hot dogs, so we have chili dogs, or some people just like a bowl of chili. Then we also usually have some sort of vegetable, maybe two, typically these green beans. I, my whole family and Matt's family likes these and they come in these big cans, so they're really easy to just open them up. We put them in the crock pot on low for like um, about an hour, get them warmed up and they're good to go. I also like to have candy just for us to eat here because I love candy. These. Um, Marshmallow pumpkins and candy corn are my favorite things for Halloween. When I ordered these, I actually ordered just the bag of pumpkins and a bag of candy corn, but Walmart was out of what I wanted. So they, you know, when you order your groceries, they have to substitute them and this was all they had. So I am not a huge fan of chocolate candy corn, but hopefully somebody is and will eat this. Although I think me and my father-in-law might be the only ones who actually eat any candy on Halloween because he loves candy corn just like me. All right, and coming up last over here, in my family, my grandmother always made cupcakes on Halloween. So that is a tradition I have kept every year, pretty much since Matt and I got married, um, definitely the first year in our first house. And 
I love Funfetti. It's my favorite. I use that, the mix, and the icing as well. I'm probably going to make somebody really mad, but to me it's much better than Betty Crocker, although I do prefer Betty Crocker cookie mix. So, um, I use, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice today. So, I use the Funfetti Halloween mix as long as well as the Funfetti frosting, but I'm not a huge fan of the kind of sprinkles they have, so I did buy some extra ones that are just One's like a, just like a pumpkin mix and one has ghosts and like bats in there, I think. So I like to do different sprinkles. Um, plus I feel like the amount of sprinkles you get with the Funfetti can is not enough for your cupcakes. Cause I usually make 24 small cupcakes. Most people eat like one or two cause they're really small. Then we also have leftover cupcakes for days and our kids are really happy about that. All right, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed my little decorations. This little guy over here, you can't really see his eyes. They're way down on his body instead of up at the top of his head, but he was a yard sale find. Um, of course, this big jack-o'-lantern I got at Walmart this year. This is my new one that's inside. I do have one from a couple years ago and it's a different color of orange. So I'm not super thrilled that they're two different colors. The one that I got um, a few years ago is actually a darker orange. And then these guys over here, these were also yard cell finds. This little cat and this trick or treat sign. I believe the people gave us that trick or treat sign for free because we got that when Callum was pretty much a newborn. He was like two months old. It was like the first yard sale we ever brought him to. And so they were like, oh, you have a sweet little baby. Just take it for free. So that was really sweet. Also my tablecloth that is super wrinkled and looks terrible um, here. This was also a yard sale find. I believe I got it for $2. And it's like one of those plastic, like thicker plastic ones. Um, it has like cloth on the other side of it. So this is our traditional Halloween tablecloth. All right, thanks so much for watching this video. Stick around because I am going to be uploading a video soon of our indoor Halloween decorations. And as always, make sure you join us here for Thanksgiving night. All right, thanks so much for joining us today. And as always, make sure that you check us out on Halloween night to see our videos. We may be going live. I don't know. I have to talk to Matt about that. And we, as always, happy haunting.